Greetings, Walton County. This is A. Russell Hughes with your March monthly update. We're excited about the end of the school year. Believe it or not, we are in March. Can you believe that? March 12th is the end of the third nine weeks, which means we have one nine weeks remaining for the school year. Stay focused. Make sure you're staying attuned to what we're doing because we're going to end the year with great success. March 13th is a teacher work day and a student holiday. Listen to this. March 16th through March 20th is spring break. We are all looking forward to it. We are excited. We've been working hard and we all need a break. Now, when we host all the people internationally who are coming to enjoy our beaches, enjoy our businesses, enjoy our great community, you make sure you stay safe. I encourage you to spend some time with family. Relax because we have a lot ahead of us the last nine weeks of school. March 27th, parents listen to this. That's the day in which we're sending report cards home. March 27. When we talk about report cards, our district receives a report card. You know, for the past two years, the first time since 2010, 2011, we are an A plus school district back to back. And we want to make sure for the first time ever, we're an A plus school district for the third consecutive year. It's become a way of life for Walton County. It's what our community expects. It's what our students can do. Our teachers are practicing and make sure our students are prepared to do so. So we're excited about it. So stay focused. We're going to make sure we end this year with great success. Understand this, we want to get our hands on our students as soon as possible. So kindergarten registration is happening at every school. It begins March 2nd through March 13th from 8 to 2.30 at each school. So whichever school that your student's going to be attending, make sure you check the website, find out their special times uh, that are outside March 2nd and March 13th that they're going to have a exclusive time that you can come and register students. We want them here early. Make sure you get there. Your student has to be five years old on or before September 1st, 2020 to be uh, accepted into our kindergarten system. All right. So also remember to bring an official birth certificate with you. That's required to get them registered. Also, you know this, uh, we've heard a lot about uh, the flu and cold season around the world. Having some great challenges with the strand this year. Um, want you to make sure that if your student is sick um, and to the case, to the point that they have a fever and going to infect some other students, you make sure you keep them home, get them to see a uh, physician as soon as possible. We are making sure that we keep our uh, environment very safe, very healthy, very sanitized to make sure the students that come to our school system are safe. We want to make sure that you're doing it at home. We're going to make sure it's done at school and together that we can make sure all of our children are safe, come to school every day, and get home every day. Also, this month is National Women's History Month. We're celebrating the contribution of women in events in our history, culture, and society. We know that uh, the, the excitement and the diversity that we have in the Walton County School District plays a part nationally. We want to recognize those women who have played a great part in history. Also, March is Florida uh, Arts and Education Month. The Florida Department of Education encourages all schools to use this month as an opportunity to provide students with meaningful, well-rounded arts education experiences. Through the arts, music, theater, dance, and visual arts, students develop knowledge and skills that can support academic success across all contexts. We make sure that our arts uh, are being a great part, an active part, a relevant part of what we're doing in classrooms. Our fine arts department, led by Keith the Bledsoe through the district, and all of our teachers at all our schools do a great job to support the strong academics we do in classrooms. Thank you so much to our fine arts teachers. When we talk about success, listen to this. We want to say congratulations to our regional science fair winners in the, in the East Panhandle Science and Engineer Fair that happened in February. We have two students who were selected as state finalists and will be attending the 65th State Science Fair in Lakeland on March 24th and 25th. They are South Walton High School, Sophie Harris, Walton Middle School, Aaron Wilmoth. And when we talk about Lakeland, I want to also congratulate Paxton basketball team. The boys won the regional finals and are state bound. They'll compete for the state title in Lakeland on March 4th and March 6th. We are supporting you, Paxton. We are all behind you. Congratulations. Great job, Coach Bradley and the team up there. I was there. It was exciting. Keep doing great things. Also, we want to talk about congratulations to our Odyssey of the Mind teams for their success at the 2020 Emerald Coast Regional Tournament in February. Listen to this. We have four teams who've qualified for state for the state tournament going to be held in April in Orlando, Florida. Here are the teams that qualify. Freeport Elementary, Van R. Butler Elementary, 
Freeport Middle School, and Walton High School. Odyssey of the Mind is a phenomenal cognitive competitive sport, team sport, and it is phenomenal. So we are so proud of all of our schools, all of our teams. Go do great things at State. We are behind you. We're supporting you 100%. Also, I want to mention that over 400 paintings created by students K through 12 um, throughout the district will be on display from March 1st through April 20. Uh, as a part of the Rosemary Beach Foundation's Music and Pictures Art con Contest, Music and Pictures is an educational art initiative and jury art contest presented by Rosemary Beach Foundation. We support that really good. Our students are a great part of it. Over 400 paintings uh, created by our students will be displayed. Go out and see those. We also want to say congratulations to senior Michaela Hooks from Walton High School and Jacob D'Alio from South Walton High School for their nominations to the U.S. Military Academy at West Point by U.S. Representative Matt Gates. He came and presented those to our, school, our students. Thank you, Mr. Gates. Thank you, students, for doing what you're doing, making yourselves um, uh, available and giving yourselves opportunity to do great things. Also, I want to say congratulations to Fisher Marks on a score of 1500. That's right, 1500 on the PSAT. We are so proud of you. Fisher is a junior at South Walton High School. Not only did Fisher score a 1500 on the PSAT, he also had a perfect score on the math portion of the test. All right? Also, we want to say congratulations to the Seahawks senior, Nadia Bach. She has advanced to the final stage in the National Merit Scholarship Competition based on her high academic performance for four years at South Walton High School and her PSAT score. We, we have so many great things going on. Walton High School. We want to say congratulations to the FBLA, Future Business Leaders of America. Students, they advanced the state competition in Orlando on March 12th. 2020 after bringing home 19 awards at the Florida uh, uh, Business Leaders Association District Competition. Congratulations to you. Also, when we talk about the whole child, we want to make sure that our students are getting what they are getting, what they need to get. That is no exception when it comes to our fine arts again. Congratulations to Walton High School and South Walton High School Jazz Bands for their superior ratings at the Florida Bandmasters Association District Jazz Band Music Performance Assessment. Both of these groups have qualified for State Jazz MPA. We are proud of them. We're just proud to be in the Walton County School District. We're proud of our teachers, our sponsors, our coaches, our teams, our students, everyone, our support staff. We're proud of our community, our, our parents. You guys do a great job making sure our students come home with what they need to make sure that we're successful. We appreciate you so much. I want you to have a great month. God bless you all. We'll see you next month.